Thanks for joining us on 9 News Now. I'm Jeff Morrow with a check of your forecast on this Monday afternoon. We're seeing a little bit of rain right now on First Alert Radar Network, not showing a lot of rain inland areas. Most of the rain right now confined down towards the coastal parishes. So zoom in on those areas. You can see some scattered thunderstorms working their way from east to west. All this tied to upper level energy that's off towards the west and the uh, extreme western Gulf of Mexico kind of making its way into eastern Texas right now. So a lot of the scattered action, very run of the mill showers and thunderstorms right now making their way through Assumption Parish, St. Mary, Lower St. Martin and into uh, southern sections of Iberville Parish. As we go north, farther inland along the interstate corridor and towards the north, really talking about more spotty action in particular West Feliciana Parish into East Feliciana Parish as well. We've seen a blip here or there in East Baton Rouge and Livingston parishes, but it does look like majority of the rain for the remainder of the day will be confined south of the interstate corridor. So a hot day for Metro Baton Rouge 96 right now at Metro Airport 93 Hammond and Gonzalez. The only silver lining is is that humidity levels still remain a bit down, so we're not into that oppressive category, meaning we're not seeing a big separation between the air temp and the feels like temperature, but feels like temperatures currently right now into the triple digits here in the metro area with 104 right now at Baton Rouge. Taking a look at your next six hours, you can see temperatures working their way down through the 90s and into the 80s once we get past sunset. Now we'll keep a mention of a few showers in the forecast for the rest of the daylight hours, but once we lose the daytime heat, and that's our trigger for showers and thunderstorms for today, whatever rains we do have out there will begin to fizzle out. But over the next three days, we are going to be dealing with elevated rain chances, so it's day by day we're going to be seeing an increase still going to be mainly dry for tomorrow. So you see that daytime high climbing to 97. But as we increase those rain chances, the daytime highs will start to come down. Now we're expecting heat advisories to return by Wednesday. That's because humidity levels will be on the climb and pockets of heavy rainfall will be possible because this humidity is going to be tied into a slug of deep tropical moisture that's going to be moving over top of the Gulf Coast region. And that's going to allow for the humidity trend to really peak into the unmarried uncomfortable category as we move into the middle of the week. So that's going to broaden the separation between the air temperature and the feels like temperature in the course of the next couple of days. Now for tomorrow, still below the heat advisory criteria, which is 108. So you'll notice 97 with a feels like max of 105. But for Wednesday, even with the decrease in temperature, we're still talking about feels like temperatures well into the triple digits. Thursday, though, we may be cool enough thanks to the cloud cover and the passing rains. Again, Thursday, a likely chance of rain in our forecast. We may be able to hold off on those heat advisories. So again, the upper level low moving into East Texas right now should be mainly dry as we go into the evening hours tonight and for tomorrow, still a mainly dry forecast. You see a couple of isolated showers showing up here on future cast. But once we get into Wednesday, more of a scattered coverage during the afternoon. Here we are paused at three o'clock and then as we make our way into Thursday, could have two rounds of rain. Looks like future cast projecting a morning round and then projecting another afternoon round. So widespread rain potential for some heavy pockets as well. But those heavy pockets probably not going to translate into a flood concern. You can see highlighting here along the immediate coastlines. Probably we're going to see our heaviest rainfall, but inland areas all registering under an inch of rainfall closer to that half inch category. So manageable rainfall totals. It does look like as we make our way through the next couple of days. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with an update on your Monday evening commute right after this. Well, we've got no crashes, no stalls to report right now on our interstate system, so things are moving along pretty decently. As we take a look at our interactive traffic map, you can see we have our typical delays, generally on I-10 eastbound as you come into the city from West Baton Rouge. That's slowing down traffic right at the 10-110 merge and then continues to kind of stay slow as you go past Acadian right now. So let's take a look at some of our camera shots. This is the 10-110 merge camera looking back towards that, and you can see slow-moving traffic in that eastbound direction, slowing traffic down coming out of downtown as well 
well just a little bit. And you can see as you head out towards Acadian traffic moving away from the camera is that eastbound drive slow until you get past college westbound though moving along pretty nicely. Here's a look at our westbound drive times. You can see they're all pretty much in the green, just a slight yellow for I 10 westbound from the 10 12 into the downtown area sitting at four minutes. Our only slow down really is coming from West Baton Rouge Parish into East Baton Rouge Parish right now from LA 415 Lobdale to the 10 12. We're talking about a 16 minute drive, so about double what a delay free drive would typically take you average speed at 30 miles per hour. Still not seeing much in the way of slowdowns heading out to Livingston or Ascension Parishes. We'll have a full newscast coming up at four o'clock with your news headlines, weather and much more.